And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Talk. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Check it. You know how I be. Last week, Kobe couldn't do without me. You know how I be. Last week, Kobe couldn't do without me. I call myself big, but I'm not as good as Biggie. I call myself big because I live next to Diddy. Excuse me, Diddy lives next to me. So in the hood, dog, I feel like P.I.G. Because if Biggie was still here, Dayline Phoenix. Right there on Star Island, Shaquille O'Neal will lose his special deputies badge in Maricopa County. Because of language he used in a rap video that mocks former teammate Kobe Bryant. That's right. Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. So the Phoenix Sun Center's use of a racially derogatory word and other foul language left him no choice. Arpaio made Shaq a special deputy in 2008. and sorry, 2006 and promoted him to colonel of his largely ceremonial posse. Later that year. I want his two badges back, Arpaio told the Associated Press. Because if any one of my deputies did something like this, they're fired. I don't condone this type of racial conduct. Wow. Just amazing. Arpaio describes himself as America's toughest sheriff. And is best known for leading jail inmates. uh, I'm sorry, feeding jail inmates green baloney. Clothing them in pink underwear and making them work on chain gangs. Said he didn't expect his actions would teach Shaq a lesson, but he hoped he learns that as a role model who wants to someday be a full-time sheriff, he needs to show or he needs to know his words matter. Arpaio said, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I don't think that either conduct should be out there publicly, even if media wasn't there. Media's a plural sheriff. (laughs) Just amazing. So, uh... Shaq no longer a special deputy in Arizona. Look at that. Amazing stuff. In this hour of the program... What's your topic tonight, anyway? uh, Keep your pants on, Shorty. I'm going to get to that. This hour of the program, it's something I have referenced previously on the show that uh, I want to talk about in detail. You know, I, I think some women just don't understand men, and there's a variety of ways they don't understand us. One is when they do something that they think we're going to love or they think we will attract us to them. And the reality is that nothing can be further from the truth. The reality is they spend all this time doing this stuff only to find out. Maybe they never find out because they keep doing it. Only to find out that guys are just not hot for that. Here are the examples I'm going to give you here. Number one. Those goddamn claws, man. I don't mind if you do a little French manicure, you have a little bit of uh, acrylic. I can live with it. But it's those women who have those those claws, the ones that practically curve around like cat claws. Like women wear on those daytime talk shows and the audiences of these shows. Is there a guy who thinks that is classy? Women think that's classy. The women who have those nails, they, they work in the uh, department store and they can't even type the numbers into the cash register. You know the type I'm talking about? They think that's classy. The women who try to try to type out a text message on their iPhone and it won't go out. They think that's classy. That's one. Here's another one. W- women who douse themselves... In glitter. I mean, they can't even limit it to like eyelids or something. It has to go like all over the cleavage, 
all over their flabby upper arms. I mean, these women who are covered in glitter. So that if they hug you or have any contact with you, your clothing is permanently uh, uh, infested with glitter and you can never get it out. I mean, I uh, I had a situation a few years back with a couple of women. You know, it was just it was like the perfect dream. A couple of chicks showed up at my house late at night. And at one point, how, how good was this? Like, they're drunk. They've been smoking weed. And at one point, these two girls are wrestling on the floor. And me, I'm just there for the ride. How great is it? I, later on in the evening... When things calm down for a few minutes, these girls sit on my furniture and they are covered, covered in glitter, covered in it. And now my furniture is covered with glitter. And do you know that for years I couldn't get that glitter out of the furniture? Are you, I called coit. I used the vacuum cleaner. I tried rubbing it down with wet cloths. I tried uh, vacuuming. Nothing. Nothing could get it out. I mean, do do guys really think that chicks who wear glitter are classy? I don't. How about women who wear too much perfume, and more importantly, too much cheap perfume? It's bad enough to use too much perfume. But how about when you're buying the cheap stuff? If you buy your perfume at Walgreens, maybe you ought to go a little light on it. Seriously speaking, Walgreens, Walmart, or any other store that begins with the uh, syllable wall, okay? Um, Not the best place to buy women's fragrances. Just a hint, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. Now, there are many things that women do that they they think uh, will make us think they are classy. They think they themselves are classy when they do these things. The glitter, the perfume... Are you kidding me? The six-inch nails? You ever look at a woman and you say to yourself, well, what made her think this looks good? What made her think this would impress people? How about the women who, uh, you see a lot of this around Los Angeles. The women who, I don't know if they shave or pluck their eyebrows and they draw them back in with a Sharpie. Or what looks like a Sharpie. They also outline their lips in Sharpie. (laughs) <laughs> are there guys out there who are not doing six to ten years in a federal penitentiary who think that's hot who think that's classy just curious uh, women who insist on wearing pants that have words on their ass juicy baby pink or whatever else they're wearing on their ass you know there are women who think that's classy and it's just low rent, low class. Doesn't mean, in that case, doesn't mean I wouldn't do you. But you're not kidding anybody. You've got no goddamn class at all. Zero. By the way, a good way to tell something is not classy, if it uses the word classy. The word classy is not classy. That's like people who say, I, I think I've told you about this. There was a guy on one of the uh, L.A. Uh, freeways. With a vanity plate that said, I swear it said this, I'm cool. The minute you say I'm cool, you are anything but cool. <laughs> and so the word classy, anybody who uses the word classy, this is classy. I think this is classy. I'm classy. I like to be classy. They've got no class. They know nothing about it. So I'm wondering if you could tell us about some of the things women do that they think are Classy. But they're really not. Tom Likes. Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. Things women do that they think are classy. But they're not. Melissa, on the Tom Likes Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, dear? Well, you cut out. But um, it's a statement and a question. How are you doing? I already asked you if you care. Oh, I do care. I'm doing great. Um, 
What drives me crazy are these girls that carry these huge, gaudy, ridiculous bags that are obvious knockoffs of expensive bags. And anyone that spent the money to buy a real coach or a real Louis Vuitton can so obviously tell that these are fake. And it's ridiculous. I mean, there's chains and big, bright colored patches of material. And I, I don't understand the point, but it's almost... It's almost embarrassing. Well, uh, let's start with this. Men don't care what kind of bag you carry. <laughs> True. As long as you're not wearing saddlebags. That's about the only thing we care about. I guess from a woman's perspective, it's just... I mean, I think there are women who buy handbags thinking men like that or men look at that. Men don't care. They don't get it. My husband asks me, what is the point? I use the analogy of... Spending three or four hundred dollars on a golf club. It really is pointless. I personally don't collect or spend the money on bags. There's a million things I'd rather do with my money. But I went to a swap meet this weekend and noticed that there was probably every other booth had fake Coco Chanel, fake coach bags, and every woman walking around there had one of those hanging off her of her shoulder. And I think to other women, women don't dress up or wear expensive clothes. I would almost venture to say that women do it more to impress other women because they're com competitive and bitchy and it's not even as much for men as it is for other women so guys don't care they really could care less what you're wearing or what bag you have or what kind of shoes you're wearing but girls do it for other women and that's that's kind of i guess my point Right, I, I, and I think you make a good one. I think you're right about that. But listen, I thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. These are the things women do that they think are classy. But they're not. Perry is calling from Parkland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. <laughs> hey, Tom, long time. It's been about a year. It's good to hear your voice. I'm sure. Oh, by far, uh biggest white trash move are the, the little flowers and designs that they paint on top of their polish on their toenails and fingernails, you know, and then you get somebody way out in left field that's had way too many 99 cent hot dogs that actually puts the little rubies or plastic diamonds embedded into their fingernails. <laughs> oh, my God. Been watching way too many reruns of Roseanne. <laughs> Going to the monster truck show. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I, so so that, and then uh, maybe tattooing the lips. I mean, that's just, you know, that's the Sharpie, but it's the permanent version. I, I, I don't know what that is, but whoever told women that that's hot? <laughs> yeah, I mean, j just like the lady said, it, it, guys don't care what, what you're wearing. Um, I mean, give me a pair of ripped up Levi's and a, and a dirty T-shirt as long as she's hot. I mean, I don't care. All we're going to do is take it off anyways, right, Tom? Put a bag over your head and do a backward somersault for me. There you go, baby. That's all you have to do. Thank <laughs> you, Perry. Roll. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Hey, I got, a, I got a, 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 a thing that just bugs me so bad. It's when fat chicks wear too tight and too revealing clothing. And they think it's sexy, and we the ones have to deal with it. You know what I mean? We're the ones that have to put up with this because someone lied to them and told them, "Hey, you look cute in this," and now they dress up like this all the time. You know? What oh I mean? yeah. Well, these are the women who shop at places like what's that place called? Torrid. Oh. And Torrid is a place that sells the tube tops where or the fat woman with the fat, the rolls of fat, you know, <laughs> like hanging out over your belt buckle. And they think it's cute though. And I wonder, I'm wondering, Tom, do these girls have mirrors in their house? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> that just irks me. And, it, and I think it's somebody that lied to them. It must have been maybe their dad. No, you're a princess. Don't let anyone tell you wrong. And look at them now. And, and, uh, and they're portraying this to their kids probably and it's not really healthy either well chances are it's their fat friends oh they're not or they're watching uh you know oprah winfrey with their friend gail saying you go oprah you yeah. go girl or oh. queen latifah's uh you know runway show or no get it right queen no get it right queen fatifa yeah fatifa <laughs> but uh, that just bugs me and here in long beach i see that too often and too much and it's just uh I don't understand why these manufacturers make clothes that are too small. If, if There should be no two-top made for a girl who weighs more than 
130, 140, unless she's packing, Tom. Well, because they can sell it. That's why they're doing it. That's right. But, but, but the thing is, why do women actually think that somebody thinks that's hot? Uh, it's a mystery, Tom. It's a mystery. Amazing. So, can you go, uh, take me out bong rip style? You know I can, Brian. <laughs> No cough. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Things women do that they think make them look classy, but they don't. John is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, thanks for having me on, man. Sure. I got a great one for you. It's the chick who carries around the little dog with her. She's got it up next to her face at all times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to be with one of those. Oh, it's I cool, used to dude. be with one of those, yes. And she had to bring the dog literally everywhere. Yeah, they bring him in the restaurant. They bring him in the grocery store. And oh, no, no, no. no. You, you haven't lived until they're calling airlines. How much would it cost to bring my little six-pound dog on the plane? <laughs> oh, only $800? Oh, that's great. Thank you. Honey, it's $800. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me on, man. Thank you, John. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about things that women do that they think are classy. But they're not. Joaquin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, father. Hello, son. Uh, anyway, well, I need to bring up the whole thing with the uh, handbags again, but let me. here's my two cents on it. If these women were smart, they would actually put away the money... They spend on these stupid handbags, buy a cheaper bag, and put away the money, or at least use it to pay their bills rather than having a guy pay for their bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let me put out a message to women out there. Uh, to all you women out there with those expensive handbags, I really don't care what kind of purse you have. The only things that come going through my mind when I see you is, A, do you look good naked? And B, you set the chrome of a trailer hitch. That's yeah. all I care about. And keep in mind, by the way, if you're stupid enough to like actually be thinking about a relationship with somebody, uh, an expensive handbag is a good red flag. Oh, yeah. B because trust me when I tell you, if you ever get with that girl, she's going to expect you to buy the expensive handbags. That ain't happening. All right, Tom, well, take me out JFK Jr. style. Here you go, Joaquin. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing, bud? I'm doing okay, Nick. Good to hear. Hey, those hideous, god awful UGG boots. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. The, the tank top, the shorts, and the you know the furry boots that go half. I don't. Those are just horrible. I mean, UGG boots are the surest way to tell me you're never ever going to be concerned about whether I think you're hot. Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Danielle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Danielle. How are you? Do you care? I do care. I'm doing great. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I uh, I just called. I hate it when girls wear their songs like their backpacks. I mean, there's one thing to wear sexy underwear, but there's another thing to wear sexy underwear where everyone can see it. Yeah, it's it not even sexy. It's just super slutty. They look like the the human slingshot, by the way. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing attractive about it. Yeah, they, and by the way, it, it goes along with the guys with the butt cracks. I mean, it, it's it's just about as sexy. <laughs> just about as sexy, especially if they're just about as hairy. That which cold. I'm so thrilled to where those G strings are. Oh yes. Well, you're right about oh. that, Danielle. <laughs> That's all I had to say, Tom. I listen to your show. I really like you. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Have a great day. Appreciate the call. Here comes Heather on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Uncle Tom. How yes, are you? doing okay, Heather. I think it's disgusting when a woman puts on so much makeup and cakes it on so that her face is a different color than her neck. How about the women who are like, it's, it's summertime. How about the women who are in swimming pools with a compact? With a compact what? Like makeup compact. They're looking at themselves in the mirror in the pool. You ever seen that? 
No, what kind of women are you hanging out with? No, I'm telling you what I've seen in pools. You see these women out there adjusting their makeup while they're in the pool. That's, that, that goes on the book as far as women that wear makeup to the gym, too. Why are you wearing it? You're going to sweat. Because they're there to pick up guys. They don't care about sweating. Well, they're, then they're not going to the gym for the right reason. And men out there, be careful of women that wear makeup to the gym. They should be there for one reason and one reason only. Working off that out. big fat ass. Exactly. Can you take me out with a don't cave me, bro? I certainly can, Heather. What did I do? Get off the no way. Get off the Get the f off of me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Wade on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Son, how are you? I could not be better, Tom. Great to be talking to you, sir. Thanks for calling in. What up? I've got a good one for you. I think you're going to appreciate this 110%. Women who go to uh, nice restaurants, or you're going to see them at a nice liquor store, trying to figure out what type of wine uh, is appropriate. And they think everything is phenomenal, and they have no idea what they're buying, but they think they do. Oh, I see that all the time. Oh, uh, this is the biggest pet peeve. I'm in the service industry, and this is just something that I see on a nightly basis, and they have no idea what they're drinking whatsoever, but they want everyone in the restaurant to know they think they do. Yeah, and they're, they're, they, there they are at their White Zinfandel, or... That's right. That's they're, right. They're the new important. one, White Merlot. That's exactly right, and it's, it's you can try to educate, you can try to talk, you can try to pair, and they don't want to hear anything. They just want what they want, and they have no idea what they're drinking and as you know and uh you know, how phenomenal wine can be and the fact that they don't want to know anything or learn anything they think they're classy and they have got no clue you are right about that thank you for that it's 1-800-5800 tom that's our telephone number these are things that women do they that they think are classy but they're not jim on the top like his show hello Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great to be on. Great. Tom, I am long time, uh, first time, and my mind's perfect extension of the last guy. Uh, I was a bartender for years, and I love when women order the real expensive vodka in their cosmopolitan. You know, they got to have the kettle one. They got to have the, the absolute, and they're going to mix it with some juice or some other junk. So guess what? I'm going to get busted on this one, but I got a great one. I was a bartender for years. I always collect the old bottles. I got the Kettle One. I got the Gavassier VSOP. I got them all. I refill them at home with the cheapest, junkiest 1.75, you know, vodka or E&J brandy. Mix up. The girls come over. Oh, this tastes so... Oh, I love this vodka. Oh, it's so, my favorite brand. Oh, I love it. And it's really just the cheapest junk that I just put in the bottle. For. Oh, Jim, I love you for that. I do the same thing at bars. I tell the bartender, I go, dude, just keep that down while you're pouring her that, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, bar brand uh, into her uh, Cosmopolitan, and I'll just tell her it's a kettle warm when I get back there. I love that. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Blow me up, old school. Old hey, school here you go, Jim. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is your telephone number. Uh, Greg is listening to the online stream in Addison, Illinois, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm originally from New Jersey, so I'm out here. In eight seconds. <laughs> it only took eight seconds for him to tell us that. Sorry, man. Everyone, hey, well, listen. How about these uh, women that take glam photos of themselves and they're too fat for them? Well, that's who takes glam photos. They go to, you know, Sears or J.C. Penney and the photographer is there with Vaseline on the lens and, you know, little bunny ears to wear so you can come home and show your husband that you're not fat. You're really a Playboy bunny. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Hey, Tom, can you take me out Lenny Kravitz style? Lenny Kravitz style? What would that be? American woman, stay away from me. I think you just did it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. You know what? I have a confession. Uh, you you had a, a show about three or four months ago where you said, uh, anyone who hates Tom, call in and, and just wail on you. 
Well, my confession is I didn't really hate you. I just wanted to call in that night. I actually <laughs> love your show. <laughs> I see. Well, I, I called in today to tell you I dated this chick. I met her on on uh, it's like a MySpace type deal, and uh, she worked for Enron right before it shut down. You know, she was uh, legally. Uh huh. Anyway, I drove down there to Houston. And uh, hooked up with her the first night. We banged away, but she had these uh, eyebrows that she shaved off and uh, tattooed them on. And, you know, her, her picture, man, she looked great. But when you get up close to her and look at her, boy, that, that was a different. That was uh, an experience there. But I had her on her bed, banging the heck out of her. And her poodles were just sitting there in, in my face watching. So, anyway, that's my story. You probably will remember me because I was the one who said, take me out, uh, John Denver style. I think I remember you because you're the guy who likes having a poodle in your face. Lightus. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Lightus Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. is our telephone number. We're talking about the things that women do that they think are classy. But they're not. Elaine on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, Mr. Likas. Uh, yes, hello. Um, I wanted to mention a few people, women. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, is every sentence going to begin with, um... Well, I'm not used to calling the radio. You're not? No. It's just like calling anybody else. All right, well... Do you start every sentence with um or... No, well. Maybe we go to the well thing. Excuse me. I was thinking of women that exuded class. I don't know if your viewers, your listeners, would be old enough or savvy enough to know who they are. Maybe they would. I know that you would. And you, could, you couldn't disagree or, di- or agree. I had a few names of... Women that I wrote down that emulated class, style, finesse. Are any of them? Are any of them people I'd want to have sex with? Uh, I can't comment on that. Why not? <laughs> I'm not going to qualify that with an answer, sir. But I would. Well, like why to not? Give you the list. It's a very short list. I uh, mean, why wouldn't you want to comment on that? That's a whole other. You can't uh, tell what kind of guys. Discussion. You can't tell discussion. what kind of women guys would want to have sex with. Perhaps they would. Hot ones. These hot, are young, and- nubile things, devoid okay. of crow's feet. You know, I will. I'd like to be able to give my list, and then oh, I know. Callers, I'd like. I'd like to be able to build. A, I'd like to be able to build a ladder to the moon, but it's not happening. Okay, thank you for taking the call. You're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> you should call KABC or KRLA, one of those stations. How did she get through here? Hello? (laughs) There's a fire out here at Stevenson Ranch. I was wondering if anybody saw the smoke. (laughs) Holy cow. Audrey Hepburn, that was one of the names on her list, Dean? It was unbelievable. (laughs) Oh, my God. Didn't she die of, like, ass cancer about 20 years ago? <laughs> Lauren Hutton? Oh, my God. Can you think of anybody who was, who was born after 1970? <laughs> Probably not. one 800 800 tom Here is Layla on the Tom Likas Show. Yeah. Hello. How's it going? Uh, it's going just great. I'm talking to the old prunes who somehow stumbled into our show. Yeah, I heard she sounds older than my grandma, for God's sake. Hello, I have some examples of class. Eleanor Roosevelt, <laughs> Betsy Ross was very classy. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. My daughter told me about Betsy Ross. I'm sure she's using the rotary phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, she. it's hardwired into the wall. Oh, exactly. Hello, operator. I'm trying to reach a radio station. I, let me get my glasses so I can see it. It's um, K. Oh, my God. L. Wait a minute. 
Is that a five or an S? I think it's an S. <laughs> is that a four or an X? Which I one is think called it's an the X. numbers? <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous old hag. <laughs> I was wondering if you could tell me where I could get yeast cakes. I've been looking all over Southern California for yeast cakes. Um, I'll hang up and listen. Maybe someone can tell me a location. <laughs> you ever listen to those AM talk shows? Oh, my God. Wow. They are the worst. Yeah. Larry, I used to love when your mother used to call it. It was wonderful. <laughs> What century was that? Uh, <laughs> darling, there's, there's shows like that today. It's just that nobody listens to them anymore. Wow, they exist? I oh, have yes. no idea. Oh, yes. Press that button that says, you, know, you probably never pressed it, it says AM. <laughs> okay, I'll try to... AM says, sure. AM says for ancient mothers. Exactly. That's who's calling in there. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, I wanted to comment about the women who tattoo their eyebrows. It is just nasty. The, the, the whole eyebrow thing, you know, whether it's over-plucking. Yes. Or going with the unibrow because you saw that Frida Kahlo movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Wow. That I unibrow really look is... Sexy. That unibrow look is, is harsh. They look like Adam Carolla, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. A woman who looks like Adam Carolla. <laughs> I mean, they shave it off and they draw it on with the Sharpie. And they do it longer and, like, more ridiculous shape than a natural eyebrow should be. It's so obvious. And they, think, and they probably think it? guys are hot for that. What guys, like dirty cholos or gangbangers or something? <laughs> oh, God. I think even cholos have more taste than that. Well, they're the ones dating them, so, ugh. <laughs> just the only kind of class of girls they can get with their toy guns. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, I, like, I thought only girls like that are in East L.A. or Compton or something. <laughs> no, they're all over the place now. Yeah, I know. Even in the valley, Woodland Hills, they're everywhere. It's nasty. Like, you can't go yes. anywhere with seeing one of them. Honey, I decided to get you some cosmetics for Valentine's Day. It's uh, I went to Staples. There's a magic marker <laughs> and a Sharpie. Well, yeah, that's a good Christmas and a Valentine's Day gift. And I, I loved you with those pierced ears, so here's a swing line stapler. I know. I understand that you are three piercings. I mean, I have two, but other than that, it's just, oh, nasty. Disgusting. You're right. Yeah. Well, There's nothing classy or sexy about that. I know it doesn't get me hot. I can tell you that. Yeah. Like, you start wondering where else they have it pierced. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I used to actually have a coworker. She thought it was cute to take a picture of her. Uh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. She's got a I piercing down me. there, yeah. Yeah, and she showed it to me, and she showed it to her other coworker. She's 85 years old. She thought that would be cute. She's 85 years like old? No, no, the young girl showed it to the 85-year-old one. The oh. poor lady almost had a heart attack. Did she really? Yeah, um, yeah. I said she realized what the hell that was. She almost dropped to the ground. Oh, my goodness. Imagine going through, uh, you know, uh, airport security with that. That would be very painful. Could, could you think. could you step over here to table two, please? Well, they deserve what they get. I mean, come on, your actions have consequences. Don't you think <laughs> about something before you do it? That's a good question, Layla. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Tom. Have a good day. You too. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Susan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I think, good evening. I think I have a good one for you. All right. These are the things that women do that they think make them look classy, 
but they uh, don't. Absolutely. And I, I really think this is a good one. It's the women that have hair extensions. <laughs> and, you know, they, they put in their hair extensions, and I know they pay a lot of money to have that done. However, once they're done, when they move their head, their extension still stays on their shoulder, and it, it doesn't leave their blouse. So they'll try to do the traditional woman head flip, and the extension doesn't flip. So I'm, I just think that's quite humorous. And so, you know, I know that <laughs> women do pay a lot of money for those, and it is quite noticeable. Somebody should tell them if you want hair extensions, just wait a while. Just wait a while, and and, uh, and you get you I, get free hair extensions if you just hang in there for a while. I, I don't know. I mean, I know. i just I've seen it, and I have recognized it on some of the more popular television shows. But you can always tell, and I just had to add that to your show. Because and I, you can tell, I was with a chick one time, and her hair extension started falling out. <laughs> That's not. A I, th- I thought I thought she was having chemo or something. Like it was falling oh. out in clumps. But it's even the girls with with long hair, and I guess they try to make it fuller by some of the stars that we well know. You know, Jessica. You know, Jessica Simpson. E- even the girls. Uh, what guy ever looked at hair. Jessica Simpson's hair? Well, okay, you have a point. You have a very good point, but still... If my yeah. eyes are exposed after I'm next to Jessica Simpson... <laughs> very good point. I'm not I doing it right. To, I had to bring that up because a lot of men may not recognize that, but if they truly look when a woman turns her head and the hair doesn't move, that is a point that she has hair extensions. And that's all I had. Uh, well, I thank just, you for that. I wanted to add that. So I'm, I'm glad you did, Susan. I thank you. By the way, Elaine, call back. I have some examples of class. She called back. She's very upset. She told Dean that she knows what I'm all about. Did she just figure it out? Love your show. I listen all the time. Oh, she said skanks is what I'm all about. (laughs) Well, that's right. I'm all about skanks. I'm all about hot chicks who put out. 1-800-5800-TOM, one 800 tom that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to David on the Tom Lyka Show. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How you doing, Tom? Great. Long time, first time, man. Thank you. Just want to uh, talk about these women who wear the, the giant sunglasses that cover half their face. Oh, boy. They look like flies, man. They're the ones too lazy. Now, see, there's the women who are obsessed with their makeup. Then there's the women who are too lazy to do their makeup, so they wear big sunglasses that cover half their face, and they think we don't know why they're doing it. Well, for that's like ugly, that's yeah. like the women who tie the shoulder, the, the sleeves of their sweater around their gut, and then they've got the the sweater flapping over their ass, and they think that we just think that's a place to store their sweater. <laughs> or they're just too cheap to buy a girdle. They're hiring a they're hiding a big fat ass in there, and we all know what you're doing, girls. We all know. Uh, that just irritates me, man. That's one of my pet peeves. And I agree with you, David. Good boy. Barry, on the top like your show, I got very little time here. What's What do women think is classy that isn't? Hello, Tom. Hello. Very simply, the huge fat women with huge hippo-like feet or the skinny anorexic women that have rat-like feet who persist in wearing frightening toe rings. Oh, boy. I, has there ever been a man who thought toe rings were, were hot? Even guys with foot fetishes, toe rings, come on. Thanks a lot for the call. It's the Tom Likas Show.